All right, hello everyone. So today is Wednesday. <clears throat> now today, today is a special day. So I'm expecting, well, we're already at all time highs with gold. So today we should have an opportunity to swing because today's a swing day. Yesterday was also a swing day with gold. As you can see here, we we're like at the tops. I've already put the Astro hours here. Now there's a bit, um, there's a situation which is a bit tricky, which is after 4.15, it's tricky because it's all blank until Asia. So that means until Asia, we don't know what's going on. All right. If that level is a high in New York, we need to sell. So if we're at highs in New York at that hour, that four, four o'clock, five o'clock in that time zone, I put the astrals already ages ago onto the members area. So that's what you need to check out, right? But yeah, so we're going to have some news as well coming out today. So things are going to be a little tricky, but you might just be better off waiting for this four o'clock and then do whatever you're going to do. All right. Um, especially on this gold. Um, this zone also is not a bad place. Um, but I'd wait for the New York session because news is coming out. And if you're checking out your news, which you should be, this Wednesday, we've got news coming out. It's after four o'clock. So we've got non-farm employment change coming out at 5.15 and everything else is at four, uh, after four. So we've got 4.45, five o'clock, and then we've got Fed Chair Powell's gonna be talking. So we might find ourselves in a bit of a pickle if you decide to short and then the market starts pushing up, all right? So we've got to be a bit careful with this, all right? Uh, and that's basically it. If you want to do anything, just wait. Okay, I would just wait because it's just not clear to me how this is going to pan out today. Okay, and let me just see. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have some rash moves happening after 4.40, 4.30. And that should carry on. So the market may still push high. All right. So I don't want you to do anything crazy. Because simply because I've got no hours. Next hours are like in Asia, 4 o'clock in the morning. So that's it, okay? So you just have to sit tight on this one. Let's see what the market will do. But today, four o'clock, like might be the all time, all time high for a while, and the market might decide to pull back. If that's the case, we don't have to rush it anyway, because if it does pull down on the retracement, we can sell off. So, you know, don't worry about it too much. It's better to be a bit patient on this one. Euro dollar. Now, same with euro dollar. Remember, we had targets done here. Now we're up here. Here we have, as you can see, falling off. Monthly broke down, so we still want to be selling this. But where is a question. So we might wait till this 41. 42, which is 1.0791. Oh, seven, nine, one is here. And 87 is there. So this is a zone you can wait for. All right. If the market comes up, we can always sell off. Is this a bad place to sell off? This is not a bad place to sell off 
for um, for euro dollar actually because uh, it's not a bad spot. You could actually put a tight stop loss here. But on the daily, um, I don't mind going here because this 39 is a good buy case. So 0778 is right here. So, you know, market selling off from here is also logical, uh, but it might also push up a little bit. So that shouldn't surprise you. If you want to trade it, you can. Um, so let's do one. Let's do one. Let's see. All right, here we are. Okay. So just entered in there. Now this zone um, should give us an intraday. So I've opened two positions as usual. If we come down to the daily pivot, we should get into here. That's about one to eight right there with risk return. Okay. So the market is pushing down and we've got retracement on the technical. This is our first level to sell because it's a PST level 0778. The second level to sell is the PST level here, 4142, 079187. So if we get to 078791, um, we'll sell there as well. Not a problem. Okay. I'm just going to get rid of this. We don't need that here. And that's it. Okay. Because the um, this hour here where it made the 0778 goodbye kiss on the daily is not a bad spot um, astrologically for euro dollar. Okay, which is actually on this bar here. All right. So if that just covers our stop loss. We can let the rest ride and see how it goes. All right. And uh, now the next astro hour for this is going to be, according to what I posted, is going to be here 12.50. So 12.45. And then I've got 13.35. We've got 1330 there. All right, so this is going to be the zone as well. So we'll see how things pan out because when we're measuring targets, remember, we're measuring with price, which is fair and square, but we also have to take time into consideration. If the market really slumps further down, we should go to 0710 or let's take a look. 0636 and on the month we've got even lower levels down there okay so that could pretty much end up let's take let's be a bit conservative and the closest is oof, the closest is the closest is the daily pivot never mind we'll just leave it up there but we've got room to come all the way down to here is a previous day's low. All right. So you can also put, if the market pushes down, you can also put a level into here. All right. We'll see how that pans out. Okay. So it's a tight stop loss, as you can see. And this zone is an astro zone. And the next price level is up there. So if we keep pushing up, all right, it's a tight stop loss, but we can sell up here as well. All right. So yesterday it was a good push up. Let's see if we can retrace a little bit. And if it does, we'll see how things pan out. All right. Overall on the euro dollar, we want to come further down into this zone here. And that's going to be 1.0636 and possibly even into here. But we'll see how that goes. All right. So we should go lower than this if we want to go back up again on this trend. Okay. Right. That's the 15 minute chart. So let's take a look at SP 500. On the SP 500, remember Monday was a swing day. That was a nice good sell off. Now, what is the question? 
Well, you can put your astro hours. Let's get rid of these astro hours here. You can put your astro hour lines, these vertical lines like I do. And I would wait for this uh, for New York, all right? Actually, this is not a bad spot to kind of go up. Oh, 0.715, this is an astro hour here as well. Um, oh, 0.715. Okay, oh seven, well oh eight. Let's say, yeah. Uh, not a bad spot. Oh eight forty five is there. So market wanting to push up from here is also logical to go up a little bit. It's done all the targets as you can see. So you want to target this here, HCL one, which is five thousand two hundred and thirty one. So 5,231 is up here. So the market's got kind of potential to kind of go back up here and then sell off. So if you want to do that as an intraday trade, it's okay to do so. On the weekly, like I said, we're pushing down. 76 is where we broke out. So 5,207 is right here. And this is also a bit of a tricky spot. Um, so we have to be careful here. What I would do with this, because the market is pushing down, um, no need to counter trade it, okay, basically. Um, you know, if it goes up a little bit on the day, um, we should be looking for sell-offs. Let me get rid of these. Okay. Because the price targets are also, well, the, on the daily they're done, but we still have room to push down. And we've got news coming out. So after the news or at four o'clock, that might be the zone where you want to trade the indices. Okay. But as a concept, um, <clears throat> this is a bit of a sandwich zone. All right, let's get rid of these. Now, yesterday's targets were down here. So if you went with the targets, you should be okay with this as um, time goes forward. Um, and if it does go back up, selling again is an option. Okay, so um, don't go against the big impulse wave. So we'll probably have an A, B or C, something light. You can see there's not a lot of buying excitement here in Asia. So I wouldn't go around um, doing too much buying or whatever. But, you know, just wait for the hours and, and see how things pan out from there. Okay, and that's that. So let's take a look on there all right so let's take a look at dow jones now another one you might want to wait for um is dow jones and nasdaq because we're going to have some whew, we're going to have a bit of yeah see this has still got room to go down so coming up to sell is a better option hcl1 is 39314 so if I've got 39, 3, 1, 4 is about here. So if we go up a little bit, really selling is the way to go. We've got targets down here, as you can see on the daily, 43, 40. So 38, 9, 7, 6. 38, 9, 7, 6 is there. Plus, we've got forty, which is thirty-eight eight one seven, thirty-eight eight one seven. All right. There. So we've got room to come down into. Whoops. Um, but you know, you know what I like to do. You know, even if it comes up to the daily pivot or whatever, or slightly higher. You know, kind of like sell from a level rather than in the middle of nowhere. So let it come to the closing because that's going to be resistance or up here, like I said, on the PST level. And that will be also interesting for us. Okay. Okie dokie. Now then let's take a, oops, let's take a look at NASDAQ. Same kind of thing, what we want to do. is 
same kind of thing yesterday we hit the targets we're all good okay so now we've got room to come further down on the daily you see we've already done these targets but we got room to come all the way down to 39 which is 17929 today so 17929 is there all right so we've got a bit of room to come down into there let's get rid of this like i said selling on this level or slightly higher that's kind of like good to go um this is the previous weekly low so we've broken that and we're pretty much hanging below it so any up move you want to be selling off um, and that should take us down like i said okay let's take a look at bitcoin now with bitcoin as well let's see what we have now with bitcoin remember this is the four hour chart i drew before as you can see if you know technical analysis you know where you're coming uh, and so the market falling a bit lower down into this zone as you can see is a nice retracement into there so bounce up sell down again is good if you want to sell selling up at selling at 68 700 around there um yeah 68 700 68 is going to be around that zone right so if the market does come up 68 here 68 700 is there so this zone uh, is nice to be selling off it there's a bit of a gap here so if the market fills it in um, I think you can sell off again as you can see the market has been bouncing off yesterday's low and that's all fine not a problem it's done the targets we said we should be coming down to do I have more targets below well if we take a look at the weekly you can see there's an infringement here which is good um, on the monthly we've got room to come down so initially this 6869 which is your 61900 right 61900 62800 62800 61900 so this zone is where we're heading towards in my opinion anyway um, but you want to be selling off well where would you want to sell off um, Bitcoin if we get back up here fill a bit of gaps that's fine the reason I say so is because you know it's, it's falling down so going back up meeting this little bar here which is 68,050 uh, you know coming into this zone 6850 so this is basically the zone you know if you want to do anything this is the zone all right at astro hours can you sell on a daily pivot look you certainly can not a problem but this looks like a sweep okay so if this is the range going one more up will bring you into here okay so just make sure you sell somewhere decent and it's on the edges and not in the middle of nowhere all right have a good one